Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So I haven't had a TV in years now, and if you wanted to see why I don't have a TV, I did do a video talking about that, and I'll leave in the description area below if you're interested. But despite all of that, I still watch internet TV. So things like YouTube, streaming services, and basically anything else on the web. And the way in which I've been doing that is through my 32 inch HP 2K monitor, along with my awesome Nvidia Shield. And even though this has worked well for me over the years, this is definitely not the best viewing experience, especially if you're somebody like myself who loves watching movies and shows. Plus, I also have a movie channel as well, so it made sense for me to go back to a TV at some point. And in this case, I have been looking at TVs like the LG OLEDs and the Samsung OLEDs, and even though they would give me a much bigger viewing experience along with amazing picture quality, they're incredibly expensive. So now I was looking for something that's gonna give me a much bigger screen, be more portable, plus give me good picture at a good value. So what device is gonna give me all of those things? Well, today I have the X Gimme Elfin. This is a mini 1080p projector that could go up to 200 inches. It weighs less than two pounds and it comes at a price point that won't break the bank. So let's see if the XGME Elfin is going to give me everything that I need for a better viewing experience. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box. As you can see, this is a very nice clean design. And the box itself, when it came packaged, it was packaged really well. So let's go ahead and get this open. All right. So this does come with Android TV. So that is a huge plus because some projectors don't come with anything. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up here. And it ships with Android 10.0. So here is the X Yimmy Elfin. So here's some information. And they also talk about how to install Netflix and um, something that I did not know is most projectors, they're not Netflix certified. So if you go to the Netflix website, Netflix certifies only a few manufacturers to actually officially have the Netflix app. And I'll show you how to take care of that whenever we set things up. But here is the X Gimme Elfin. Wow. This looks really nice. It reminds me a lot of a Mac Mini. Wow. I'd say this is really great quality. And there's the actual projector itself. It definitely doesn't feel cheap. And at the time of this video on Amazon, this projector is $649. And whenever I bought this, there was also a $50 discount code as well. So I'm gonna set this aside here. Let's see what else is here. Open this up. Okay, so it looks like the user guide. And here we have our power adapter. Right here, there is the power adapter. And then here's the other portion of the power adapter right here. So there it is. And then also we have the remote. And this is a very nice remote. Just looking at it right here. And there it is. Wow, that looks really nice. So I'm gonna I'll go ahead and unwrap the rest of this. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the device. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the remote. This does not come with batteries, so it does require two AAA batteries, so make sure that you have those batteries available. And the remote is basically the only way that you can control this device because there are no control buttons on this device. So definitely do not lose this remote. So onto the device itself, as I stated, this is really nice clean design, looks a lot like a Mac mini. It does have speakers by Harman Kardon, which looks like these are the speakers right here. There's a sensor there, and here is the actual lens itself. And then on the back side, we have some ports. So this right here is a HDMI 2.0, USB 2.0. Uh, this looks like a headphone jack or some type of digital out. And here is the DC adapter. Here is the power button, and these looks like there's some fans and vents. And then on the bottom, we have more cooling right here. And then here, we also have a thread where you could actually put this on a tripod. So very simple and clean design. 
and it is definitely portable this weighs about two pounds so you could even throw this in a bag and take this with you or even take it outdoors so that is just a tour of the physical hardware really nice design simple and lightweight okay so now i'm turning the projector on so there is the screen as you can see there so i'm definitely going to have to pull this back some Okay, so what I had to do here is I actually had to set this on a tripod because when I actually had it on my table, it was way too low as you probably saw. So I'm going to go ahead and try this again because the thing I have to do is I have to pair the remote up to the projector. So once that comes up, there it is. Uh, you can probably see the screen. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this because it is way too high. Okay, so hopefully you could see the screen up there. You might not be able to see it clearly, but I do have some lights on right now to get it set up. So one of the first instructions is they actually want you to pair up your remote uh, to the actual projector itself. So it's asking me to press both of these buttons together. So I'm gonna press that. All right, remote control is paired. I think it pairs it through Bluetooth. And here we're gonna go through the setup so so this is running android tv so if you're used to setting up an android device it would be the same thing okay so now we actually have the focus and keystone correction uh, now this basically allows you to adjust your screen size you could do manual like this but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do the auto keystone because that works pretty well and there's also remote control focus as well there is a uh, focus Underneath the actual remote control itself, there's volume and focus. You can use that as well. And there actually is a system update. So I'm going to go ahead and update this. Look at the details and I'll update this. It's about a one gig update. So we'll go ahead and update this. Okay, so as you can see, after the update, it's auto-focusing and it's trying to adjust the screen. Now, when it comes to the projector settings, most of it is going to be standard Android TV. So if you ever use Android TV, it's going to pretty much have the same interface. But whenever you go into settings, there are some differences. And once you're here, there are a number of additional settings that you could adjust for the projector. There's brightness right here. There's multiple different brightness options they're standard bright eye protection form and custom i just leave it as standard but you could obviously play around with any of these if you wanted to and then there's also keystone correction which is really important because if you do happen to move your projector around uh, there is automatic keystone correction and i'll show you that in a bit there's focus settings as well you can have it auto focus on startup or you can have it auto focus upon motion and there's also dynamic focal length compensation there's also projector placement as well so you can adjust uh, where the projector is placed in the front front ceiling rear rear ceiling and auto vertical flip so there are a number of options here and then there's others so there's hdmi control settings gyro calibration focus calibration keystone calibration and there's also bluetooth visibility switch so uh, quite a few features that are pretty easy to understand uh, but also there is some other options on the controller there is some shortcut settings which i like and so typically i would just use this to come here because most of the times i'm just going to be using the keystone correction or i'm going to be using the focus but there's also some additional settings here there's image mode so you could choose a variety of preset image modes like movie football office game or you could custom set it and there's also sound settings right here uh, there is uh, sound effects, DTS studio, volume balance, and there's also sound output. There's 3D video setup. So in this case, I'm not sure how this works. So maybe you have to have some type of 3D capable, maybe glasses to make this work. So I'm not sure about this, but it is a feature that's included. And then there's all settings, which goes back to the settings we saw earlier uh, whenever it comes to your Android TV home. 
So here's a feature that I think you'll love right away, and that is the ability for the projector to adjust itself automatically so that you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to get the picture and everything in the right place. So this feature is called Auto Keystone. So let me show you, if I were to move the projector around like this, it would automatically readjust itself. And then it's gonna go ahead and Auto Keystone. And then, if you wanted to manually you know move things around you can do that otherwise everything should be as centered as possible based upon the projector okay so let's go ahead and start off with the first and most obvious thing the picture quality whenever there's a lot of light in the room specifically daylight it's not going to be great at all so if you wanted to use this as your tv replacement and you're going to be watching this through all times of the day then I really wouldn't recommend this and just like many other projectors they just perform a lot better when there's not a lot of light and so if you are in a room where you can control the amount of light that comes in then this would be a really good purchase however if you're in a room like mine where you have windows and you have light coming in during the day then this is definitely not the choice for picture quality and you're better off with just sticking with a normal TV so that's the first thing in situations where you have light in the room and you can't control it this is not a good experience when it comes to overall picture quality. Okay, so this is how the XGME projector looks at night. And as with most projectors, this is where it shines. But I am thoroughly impressed by the overall picture quality from this. And so the XGME, I would say, is good to great. And so it's not going to be as good as, you know, a normal standard TV, especially for high-end TVs like plasma TVs. But what I'm seeing here for the price... I am so amazed, especially considering how large of an image that you get on here. So it is rated to go up to a potential 200 inches, but I don't think you could really get that large without looking really bad. And so I would say anywhere from 65 to maybe 90 inches probably looks good. So in this case, I don't know exactly how many inches it is on my wall, but it kind of looks like a 65 to maybe like a 70 inch TV which is thoroughly impressive. So whenever you're watching content on here, it looks really great in my opinion, especially if you have great images that are showing from it. And so if you are watching like 4K content, you know, movies and so forth, it's gonna look even better. So the higher the quality of the content, the better it's gonna look on here. And coming from my camera, it probably isn't gonna do it justice in terms of how good it actually looks. And obviously it does depend on your room settings, but at least for me, projecting it on a wall, it's pretty spectacular overall. Now, when it comes to sound quality, I would say the speakers out of this, it's okay. Um, I wouldn't expect a lot out of these, but the Harman Kardon speakers, it does produce some okay sound out of such a small device. So I would say okay, but if you want better sound, then I definitely recommend you get some type of sound bar. So when it comes to Netflix, you're going to realize really soon that things aren't going to work. So once you start playing content, it looks like it's going to work. Then you're going to get this error. And so the solution to this is to install another app called Desktop Manager. And once you do that, you see this thing called Netflix Recommended, which is the one you want to install. So before you install this new version of the Netflix app, you want to remove the existing one if you already have it installed. And this version of Netflix is the Kodi edition. So this isn't an official Netflix app, but it does work. And the interface is different, so it takes a little bit getting used to. But overall, I have had any issues with watching Netflix ever since I installed this. So that's how you would get Netflix to work on the XJB. So as you can see, the XJB Elfin gives you a big screen experience without the big screen price tag and since it's so portable and easy to use you can take this experience with you wherever you go and so those are my thoughts on the xjme projector if you did want to support my channel and get this projector i will leave an affiliate link in the description area below and if you did have any other thoughts on this or any other projectors that you enjoy using leave that in the comments as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that i don't put out here publicly on my youtube channel then join my gold content creators group 
where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.